Ryan, my goodness, are you still kind of celebrating getting this up and running the season out of the way and breaking the franchise all-time sack record? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you got to enjoy the the good moments in in the NFL, and I'm definitely going to enjoy this for for a couple of days. And it's it's just a real blessing. I'm really thankful to have, you know accomplished it and you know accomplished it accomplished it in the first game of the year. What is a Ryan Kerrigan celebration away from what we saw? Your celebration on the field. What does that look like for you? <laughs> well, during season, it's probably not the same as it would be out of season. But uh, you know, wife made me dinner, which was awesome, and. Uh, um, other than that, just hang with my daughter, hang with my wife. That's that's enough for me. Do you get to request what you want for dinner? Like, is that a special meal? Was there anything extra for it? Yeah. So she's a really good cook. She can she cooks Italian food real well. So she makes really good meatballs. So I said I, I'd love some meatballs, and so she uh, she had those waiting for me when I got home from the game, and uh, it was a good good night for me. Now the question being, if you hadn't have broke the record, would you have still gotten the meatballs, or were you just going to get leftovers? I, you know, that's a good question. I think, you know, I was probably still going to get meatballs just because my wife's <laughs> awesome like that. But um, it, it definitely made it sweeter that, you know, I got them and the, the sack record with it. All right, you have to have a good support system. And of course, nothing better than a good wife standing behind you. So we cheer, we prop and cheers to her for that one. Um, look, man, you got in that game. This is your 10th season. You know, you're not a young buck here. And, it, you know, before last season, you didn't miss a game at all. Uh, good to see you back out there healthy. but. Your legs seem really fresh. Um, is it a matter that it was week one that you knew you're going for the record, or is it maybe like whatever your wife cooked you for breakfast that had you out there looking so good? Oh, uh, I mean, I was just fortunate to make the plays that were there, and um, you, that's that's the NFL. I mean, opportunities are going to present themselves, but it's up to you to take advantage. And um, I was fortunate to, fortunate enough to have the opportunities there, and. I, I capitalized and I'm thankful for that. That's where the veteran part comes in. Typically, that's your role. You're the guy that has to go out for this team and be the main one to get double digit sacks. And you do it year in and year out. But now you have Chase Young and Montez Sweat out there. And then you coming in, what did you make of the rotation? And how does that kind of, I don't know, I mean, does it help you at all to have the fresh legs? Or do you want to be able to have more snaps? How does it translate for you? I just know that whatever snaps I'm out there, I gotta, I gotta take advantage. I gotta make plays, make things happen, and um, you know, just be a difference maker when I'm out there. Whether that's for 20 plays or that's for 50 plays, I gotta, you gotta make, gotta make things happen when you're out there. And um, fortunately, you know, Sunday was was able to do that. 13 and a half sacks against the Eagles, like that's the most anybody's had against this team in quite a while. Uh, is there something about when you go up against this this team that you say, you know what, it's going to be my day? I think part of it is just, it's a division rival. You do get up for the division games, you know, just a little bit more than than you know, non-division games, and um, there's familiarity there. We play this team twice a year, and for me, that's twice a year for almost a decade. So I've, you know, I've, I know this team, and um, I definitely want to I want to play well against them because I know these games mean a lot. You know, talking about this game going into it, I was talking to Sal Palantonio, and he said, if you ask any Eagles fans, because we were talking about the impact Chase Young could have, he goes, they say it's Ryan Kerrigan that is the killer against us. Well, you lived up to that again. Y'all had eight sacks in this game combined with everybody. Um, this, you were part of the team that had 10 sacks. It's been quite a few years since that, but can you compare this defensive line to some others that you've been on? And is this something we can expect every week? I mean, to expect eight sacks every game, I think, I mean, I don't know if you can, I don't know if that's, you know, realistic, but I mean, I know Why we not? have- Come on. <laughs> but, we, but I mean, you know, we got, we got some, some obviously really productive guys in this room. And I think, you know, just being as deep as we are defense on the defensive line gives us a chance to be productive like that each week. Um, it's 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 pretty crazy. I mean, eight sacks is is a lot of sacks. I mean, like you said, we had we had ten against the Jaguars in 2014, and um, but you know this. I mean, eight the eight yesterday, especially against a, a division rival, is is pretty sweet. And I think you guys could have even had more, really, when it boils down to it. So everyone's excited about being able to go out there and do this. But early on in the game, when y'all were down, we saw you and the D-line guys get together on the sideline um, and, and meet amongst yourself. Was there a special message that was said then? Nothing, nothing crazy. Just, hey, somebody needs to make a play to swing this momentum. We needed just to get make one play, get off, you know, kind of get the get the tide going in our direction, in our, in our favor. and. Um, you know, I think once we once we kind of did that, once we you know started forcing some turnovers, getting some sacks, then then we kind of settled in and really just kind of let our let our play take over. 
So Carson Wentz is not the easiest to take down. We know he's mobile, he can extend plays. You got eight on him. I'm sure he was taking quite a few days to recover. But you have Kyler Murray coming up. It's a little bit of a different level trying to go against him. What's the challenge? Yeah, I mean, like Wentz, likes to extend plays and has been is real mobile. Um, probably, you know, a little shiftier and, and maybe a little quicker, whereas Wentz is a real big guy and, and is just hard to bring down because he's so physically big. Um, but Murray, man, he's he's impressive. I mean, the, the guy had an awesome rookie year last year. He won the Heisman in Oklahoma for a reason. And I mean, they, they came off a really impressive win Sunday against uh, the 49ers, I mean, on, on the road. So that's that's impressive. I mean, we got we, uh, we'll definitely have a challenge in front of us with, with Murray and the, and the Cardinals. Well, it seems like everybody will have their fair shot with this team. If you were to give a game ball, I know you got one, but if you were to give a game ball away on defense, who would you have given it to? Um, I'd probably say, I'd probably say Fabe, Fabian Moreau. You know, he got he got that big big pick, kind of really. I feel like got us going a little bit, and uh, so I'd, I'd, I'd give him, I'd give Fabian a game ball. A game ball was also given to Coach Rivera as he got his first win with this franchise. Um, man, what he's going through, it, it's difficult. You know, I, everything leading up to this was just enough. A, a dealing with the name change, COVID, not being able to get you guys no preseason. And then he has to deal with cancer. He misses practice when he has his first treatment. It's late to some others. And halftime um, last Sunday, you know, he had to go get an IV. What do you guys say in the locker room when you see your coach and the physical demand and toll that this disease is taking on him to be able to back him up? I mean, what's what's impressive to me is he really he hasn't missed a beat. I mean, he's still out there coaching, you know, and you know, and coaching us like like there's nothing going on. And that's, I mean, to have that kind of mental fortitude, I mean, says a lot about him. Says a lot about his mental toughness and you know his and his yeah his toughness. I mean, it, it's it's really impressive and. I mean, it, he's, he's an impressive guy. Yeah, uh, it, it's fun watching him. It was great to be able to see you guys celebrate. You have to do it again, of course, in just a few days, taking on Arizona. Is there a competition on who gets the first sack on Kyler? Oh, I mean, as, as long as we can get to him again and help help the team get a win, that's, that's what we want in the defensive line. I, I can never shake you, Ryan, in these interviews. You always just have the perfect answers. I want you to name out me. <laughs> There's a competition. I have to get it. And because of that, then everybody has to buy you meatballs while you're on the road in AZ. There we um, go. All right. We appreciate it. Congratulations and keep it up. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks, Julie.